Welcome once again to Commander by Danon. Today's video is a result of the recent poll I posted on YouTube. If you participated in the poll, thank you for voting and interacting with the channel. It means a lot that you would take time out of your day to vote and discuss which of the Commander Precons I should do an upgrade video for. Now, before we get started, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel, and it's free. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. Per the vote, the list that won was Eldrazi Unbound. The face commander is Zolodok, Voidgorger, a 6-mana 7-4 legendary Eldrazi who makes it so that colorless spells we cast from our hand with mana value 7 or greater have Cascade, Cascade. Okay, so we want colorless spells with a high mana value. That means we'll want lots of ramp to be able to cast those spells. But we'd rather run good ramp than bad ramp. Now, this is a pre-constructed deck built by Watsi. I know this deck was quite a bit more expensive than a lot of other pre-cons, so with that in mind, the upgrades I was looking at only came to $20. I've got a couple more recommended upgrades, but the two of them push the upgrades to $80. Now, the deck list is already out, and there are plenty of other content creators who have gone over the deck as is, so I'm not going to do that here. What I am going to do is compare the existing deck to our handy dandy checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp. 10 pieces of card advantage. 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal. 2 to 3 board wipes. 2 pieces of graveyard hate. And 1 sudden I win card. Okay, so how does the deck compare to that list? We've got 56 mana sources split between 38 lands and 18 pieces of ramp. Heavy, but we've got a high curve, so it's not unexpected. 12 pieces of card advantage, but 5 of them are lands. 10 pieces of spot removal. 3 board wipes. 1 piece of graveyard hate in scavenger grounds. No sudden I win cards, but Rise of the Eldrazi comes close. As I'm sure you've heard by now, this channel is sponsored by Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard is famous for their boulder, and they now have the new boulder and tray. Designed to carry both your commander deck and enough dice to satisfy anyone but a dice goblin, you can get yours in a variety of colors, like the emerald one seen here. Find out if your local game store carries the Ultimate Guard boulder and tray, or click on the link down below to order yourself one from Amazon. Okay, so we want a bit more non-land-based card advantage, and maybe a couple of stronger creatures. But overall, I really like the deck as is. So let's start with some problem cards. Dreamstone Hedron would actually be better in this deck if it were 7 mana instead of 6. So we'll be cutting it for Desolation Twin. Next up, Temple of the False God is a trap card. You hate seeing it in your opening hand, so we'll be cutting it for Thought Knot Seer. Hedron Archive is almost as bad as Dreamstone Hedron, so we'll cut it for one of the best colorless cards printed in the last few years, Wandering Archaic. We're not really an equipment deck, so we'll be cutting Fire Shrieker for the Immortal Sun, which has all sorts of fun effects. Finally, Myriad Construct, which I'm not a fan of, gets replaced with Zenith Chronicler which may or may not draw us a ton of cards, depending on if anyone at the table is playing Niv-Mizzet Supreme. Okay, so those five cards come to $19 at the time of recording, which means that if you can get the deck for $80 on Amazon, link down below, you can pick up the entire deck for only $100. Now, if budget isn't a concern, I also recommend swapping Forge of Heroes, again, we're not really focused on commander damage with this deck, for Eye of Ugin, an amazing land card that is perfect for this deck. Finally, we can cut Suspicious Bookcase. Nothing against this card, it's just not very strong. For Void Winnower. So, we've increased the power of our deck by putting in some stronger creatures, cleaned up the mana base, and given ourselves some more card advantage. Never enough card advantage, especially in colorless. All in all, I'm quite happy with how the deck turned out. Let me know in the comments below if you think I missed anything. I didn't put the Titans in for budget concerns, and one of them is banned anyway. But if you were to add them, what cards would you cut? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my dear cute stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. 
If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, head on over to patreon.com slash Danon. One of the tiers is specifically set up for Commander. For only $25, I will build you a custom Commander deck based around your specifications and even do a deck video on it. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Waffles, Jiraiya, Danny, Muffins, Marcus, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Josh, Sean, Pob Zombie, Mark, Alex, Daniel, Steve, Kevin, Alex, Cookie, Nick, Borgie, Jake, and Exile Grove. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos often, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Also, if you're a fan of anime and manga like I am, feel free to check out my other channel, Musings by Danon. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danon.